what is the value of the digit 2 in the number 48.621? If you look closely at this number, the digit 2 is in the hundredths place. Therefore, the value of the digit 2 is 2 hundredths. The answer is A. What percentage of 50 is 10? To calculate the percentage, we say 10 over 50 multiplied by 100. Canceling, we say 15 to itself goes once, 15 to 100 goes twice, 2 times 10, that's 20. Therefore, the answer is B, 20%. At a bank, EC, $2.60 is equivalent to US $1. For every US $1 exchanged, EC 10 cents is deducted as an exchange tax. How many EC dollars will Leon receive if he exchanged US $1,000? Because EC 10 cents will be deducted as an exchange tax on every US $1, we simply multiply $1,000 not by $2.60, but by $2.50. This is because we have deducted the $0.10 cents from the $2.50, from the $2.60 rather for tax. Multiplying $2.50 by 1,000, we can simply move the decimal point three spaces to the right because we have three zeros here. Moving, we say one, two, three. Therefore, the answer will be C. $2,500. In a school, the ratio of the number of pupils to the number of teachers is 20 to 1. If the number of pupils is 840, how many teachers are there? As you can see, 840 is represented by 20 shares. So in order to calculate how much is one share, we say 840 divided by 20. 20 into 84 goes four times. Four times 20, that's 80. Subtracting here, we get four. And carrying down the zero here, we get 40. 20 into 40 goes two times. So therefore, one share or one portion is equal to 42. Therefore, how many teachers are there? Because teachers is represented by one portion, it means that there are B, 42 teachers. The area of a rectangle in centimeters squared is X squared. The equation that may be used to find the value of X is, as you can see, the shape here is a rectangle. How do we determine the area of a rectangle? This is done by multiplying the length by the width. So therefore, the area would be 2, the width, multiplied by the length, x minus 4 centimeters. Therefore, the answer is A, x squared is equal to 2 multiplied by x minus 4. Alpha normally saves x dollars each month, but in June, she saved $4 more. $4 more, we would have to add $4. But the question went on to say $4 more than twice her usual amount. Her usual amount is X. So twice that would be 2X. Therefore, the answer is D, 2X plus 4. A square, so allow me to draw my square here, has the same perimeter as a rectangle with the length 15 centimeters. Let me draw my rectangle right here length of 15 centimeters and width of 11 centimeters so it means that up here will also be 15 and here will also be 11. the question went on to ask what is the area of the square so first we need to calculate the perimeter of the rectangle 15 plus 15 that's 30 and 11 plus 11 that's 22 30 plus 22 that's equal to 52. This means that the perimeter of the square is 52 centimeters. But because the question asked us for the area of the square, to calculate the area, we need to say length by width. So we need to now calculate the length of the square. Because all four sides of the square 
has the same length, we simply say 52 divided by 4. And that gives us 4 into 5, that goes once. And 4 into 12, that goes 3 times. Therefore, each side measures 13 centimeters. To calculate the area, we simply say 13 squared or 13 times 13, which is 169. Therefore, the answer is D, 169. Volume of the cylinder in centimeter cube and in terms of pi is? To calculate the volume of the cylinder, we say the area of the cross section multiplied by the height. The cross section is a circle, therefore the area of a circle would be pi r squared. The diameter is 6 cm, therefore r squared would be 3 squared, which is 9. Multiplying this by the height of 20 cm, this gives us 180. Therefore, the answer is C, 180. If the area of the minor sector, which is right here, EOF, is 103 cm square, then the area of the circle in cm squared is, if you look closely, the angle here is 60 degrees. An entire circle will be 360 degrees. How many groups of 60 do we have in 360? That would be 6. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to now multiply, you need to now multiply 103, multiply that by 6. Multiplying 103 by 6, we say 6 times 3, that's 18. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 1, that would be 1. And 6 times 1 would be 6. Therefore, the answer is D, 618. If A is equal to this matrix here, then the order of A is the order. We always write the order as in the number of rows. And in this case here, we have three rows by the number of columns. In this case here, we have four columns. Always the order is row, by column. So therefore the answer is C, 3 by 4.